Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm out here and we tried to combine sunflowers today. Uh, they're still a little bit wet. They were testing about 13.8. They want them at 10% moisture. So that's what's going on there. Um, we're going to wait. It's Friday. They're not open tomorrow or Sunday. So we're going to wait until Monday and try it again. Yeah, we got some other stuff around the farm we got to do anyway. But this is my... Uh, field along the highway that just that never got sprayed and this is what it looks like now this is pretty awesome guys the sunflowers I don't think got hurt by all this stuff at all if it did it was very slim or I think we're gonna have a pretty good yield yet as you can see I had to, I was actually chopping some of the cover crop off and I was doing it and running it over but this stuff would stand right back up yeah uh, this is the edge of the field that's the edge of the field there so the flowers don't look fantastic there but they're all right but this is just thick yeah. that's my son Luke can you say hi can you say hi Luke oh you find something What's that? Is that uh, cover crop? <laughs> Annual ryegrass is what you got there. And this stuff is vetch. Vetch. And got some beans. Beans. We got some beans too. Yeah. What else is in here? What other plants are in here? Do we have, oh, what is this? Is this radish? Radish? Yeah. And kale. That's what this and, one it was. And black And, um, trying to find some turnip. Maybe I don't have turnip in the mix. I don't remember. Oh, here's some buckwheat. Right, that's what this is. This is buckwheat. Buckwheat. Yeah. Yeah, guys, this is pretty awesome. Um, so the reason I'm just walking out here doing a video right now, though, is because the combine's dead, and Dad had to go get some jumper cables or something to start it. So I thought I'd do this for you guys. Um, when we get going, I don't know how much I'll be running the combine, but yeah, I'll make sure I get some video of being in there and around it. And I think I'll be driving truck most of the time, but I am going to plan on driving a little bit of everything. So. Hey everybody, what's up? It's finally started. Sunflower harvest is here, at least for the next few days. And then we'll be jumping into beans probably. But I'm in the grain cart right now. It's a 678 Brent hooked to our 8120, and Dad's running the combine. Yeah. Uh, we just got done setting things, I think, as long as he's not putting too much out the back according to his monitors, which I don't think he is. Um, or through his return, we were plugging up, we plugged, we plugged up the return earlier too, so. Yeah, there he is coming by us. And that big ugly hopper. So that sunflower header I picked up for 250 bucks at an auction uh, two years ago now. Yeah, two years ago. Uh, it's an 810 international header with Luke or Luke, Louis Leak or whatever, however you pronounce it, sunflower pans on it. So yeah, uh, it had crop lifters on it until just a few minutes ago. We took them all off because they were getting caught in my cover crop that I have out here. That is just amazing. Uh, the hairy vetch was catching it though and bending them down and almost breaking them off. So we were uh, said just take them off and it worked out pretty good that way. Uh, we did lose a few flowers on that headland because the hairy vetch took over and um, well it just pushed them down when the combine came by. So got probably 90% of them so I'm happy with that. Pretty small heads anyway, drowned out spot in the field. But um, I think we our yield calibrator's not our yield monitor on the combine's not calibrated. 
pounds. We're not 100% sure on this, but I think it's making about 2,000 pounds per acre or better, which is what I expected and what I wanted with these sunflowers. So, and you gotta remember guys, I'm short on nitrogen out here again, but I seem to have grown it. I seem to have grown a lot of stuff out here. Uh, I'll shut the tractor off for a little bit and we'll take a walk around outside. It's getting to be sunset, so maybe we'll catch some of that too. Ugh. Yeah, look at this guy. So here's that hairy vetch I was talking about. It's just, it grabs on everything and climbs up the stalks of the sunflowers. So here you go. There's the sunset with the back of the grain cart. We just had a new auger put on this thing because it got uh, totaled last year. So uh, we, they just got done doing that. Neighbor over here is combining beans next to us. Yeah. Let's take a walk around. I mean, this stuff is awesome, guys. It's up to my... It's up to my knees. Yeah. Well, look how deep it is on the tractor. It comes all the way up to the frame of the tractor. I think it would be taller, too, if the combine didn't run it over. <laughs> but this would be some amazing... Um, feed for cattle this year if I had any but I found out now that for sure I'm not renting this ground again next year so I'm not going to fence it it's not fenced at all now so I'm not going to fence it and have cattle put out here uh, I don't know what the landowner is going to make me do if he's going to make me work this stuff under or what really hope not this hairy vetch will get wrapped in everything and I'll be spending more time digging that out than I will be doing anything else so yeah that's the gist of things um what else combine's coming back up again semi's about full now we're just it's sunday night we're loading the trucks for tomorrow morning so one more shot of the tractor grain cart and that beautiful sunset with the combine in the background that's a 9770 also I'll uh, catch you guys later.